Hey guys, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you how to make a Thrasher-like logo. Um, I did this a couple of years ago and I forgot to make the tutorial and then time went on, I remembered and then I just got lazy and didn't do it. So anyways, I'm going to do this for you guys today. So first of all, go ahead and pick the words you want to, uh, you want to work on. So I'm going to just write Tovar for the name. Um, and then I'll also make a duplicate and put my name Joseph. And what I want to use the um, the second part for I'll do later. I'm going to make it smaller. Whoops! Make it smaller. I'm just going to move it aside. So the way this works is I put some font names here. Um, the way the logo is created is I want to use Banco for the uh, the main. Uh, typeface of it so I'll go ahead and choose that right here Oops, I have it right there so I have my name and I'm gonna hit control D and duplicate that and I'm gonna use for the flames I'm gonna use one called char BB so we'll choose char BB okay so uh, what we want to do is we need to this is the thrasher type style but we want the flames on it and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple changes First of all, I'm going to change this to about, let's just go with a, a eight and a half inch uh, design. And I'll make this approximately the same size. And now I also want to spread some of these letters out a little bit. And I'm going to pull this a little closer here. Okay. And you guys can, you know, decide what spacing you like the best for your, for your uh, text. Okay. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to take, I'm going to go to, I'm going to hit W, which is for my uh, view of wireframe. I have a shortcut of W. So I want to go to wireframe. And so that way I can kind of see how this will look over it. Um, since my A and R are kind of close, I'm going to use the shape tool. Spread Just spread this part because I don't need any letters uh, touching each other. And then what I want is I just want the top of the flame. So I'm going to take a square or sorry, a rectangle and I'm going to just chop it off someplace. I'm going to pick a spot as much as I want. Um, I can bring this down just how much flames that I want to get and then what I want to do is hold select the uh, rectangle, select the flame or the other font, sorry, and I'm going to use the back minus front and I just kind of chopped it all off. The next thing I want to do is I want to right click and break the uh, curve apart because I want them all separate but then I don't want to lose these little pieces so I'm gonna grab them both and combine grab this piece combine I don't want these two together but I do want the small flame on top uh, together with the bigger piece so combine those combine those and combine this one so now I could take this down here and then take each one and work on it so I'll grab this guy here and what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get this part aligned with the top and the same with this size side. So I'm going to bring it down so they overlap a little bit then I'll bring this in so it's fairly close to the side. It doesn't have to be exact but just somewhere close. Same thing with this one. So we have this big gap here and if I just put this down here it's going to look messed up because of the way the, the top of the O is. So what I whoops, so what I want to do is I'm going to take this I'm going to double click it or use your shape tool I want to grab the two nodes down here at the bottom you see right here just grab these two and just stretch them to make it longer this way I have some space to work with so see I have a little I still have some a piece of the uh, O right here so I need to go a little bit more just grab that bring it down a little bit more okay so now I can throw this here. So it covers this part, and then I want to stretch this one out over here so it gets to this edge right there. And if I like that, just, just leave it there. We'll, you know, we'll finish it all later. We're going to grab this piece, do the same thing. We'll zoom in right here, stretch this out so it touches the edge there. Same thing with this side. Grab this one. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a flame, so it doesn't matter if the curves are perfect. Same thing. So I'm going to have the same issue here where I need to drop it down a little bit. Let's see, if I, It depends on how high I want my flame. If, I, if I'm happy with that, I can leave it, but I can double-click click this part, bring it down just a hair, 
and I'm going to put that back right there, like a little hat on it. And then let's see, and then this part, same thing, got this gap here, so I'm going to want to bring this down and we'll make it fit. And also, for example, if you don't like the way this bends right here and hits this, you could always use your shape tool and grab this and bring it down here more. It's just kind of how you want it to attach, you know, I mean, this can be the tip of the flame there, which looks kind of weird. You can bring the whole thing. But anyways, you can move this around wherever you want, wherever you feel comfortable for making your flame. It'll look good when you're done. So now that that's done, we're going to highlight the whole thing, and we're just going to weld it. So I'm going to go back out of uh, wireframe, uh, wireframe, and you can see that you know looks pretty good. If you don't like the way your O looks, you can adjust that. And I can undo that and go back to wireframe and adjust this a little bit. Maybe I want this to come from right here. You know, it's up to you. It's not a big deal. Whoops. Now I'm losing the top of my O though. So I'm going to bring a little bit in here. So anyways, I'm going to grab this again and then weld it. So anyways, it's up to you how you want that to look. So another thing I want to do is um, I want to uh, arch it a little bit. So I'm going to hit uh, Control F7 to bring up my envelope tool. And now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use this one single art. And then what I, I want to do is I want to uh, add a new. And then from right here, if I just grab this and hold up, it just bends the top. I want to do the, both of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Control key and then bring it up this way. And it's going to make this arch here. So it looks good to me. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to contour it. So I don't need this. I'm going to click on the Contour tool. And I'm just going to give it one. So this is the part up to you how you want it to look. Uh, I think the other one is, I think it's red with a yellow flame or yellow with a red flame. And then there's a black outline. It's really up to you how you want it to look. So I'll just do one right now. And it'll do one contour. And then if I want, I guess I can do one more and then I can break it apart. Or I can, it just depends on how I want to do it. We're going to do two right now. And then... Let's see, let's make sure I did this right. Yeah, okay. So then after I do that one, I ungroup this one. So I should have three pieces there. One, and then there's a blue there, and then there's the black. So I'll change it color so you can see it better. I'll make uh, that one yellow. I'll make this red. I'll make this black. So you have this here, and like I said, you can make the the third one. This one you could have made this one bigger, so it so it all touches here. It's up, it's kind of just up to you. And so, or I can also make that part red, and make this part yellow. So I think that looks better. Yellow on the inside, then red, and then the black. Okay, so that's kind of how I made that part there. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, in the in the magazine. It actually says magazine right here. I'm going to use a uh, different font. I could either use Zinger or Eurostyle. I'll show you the difference. I'll make both of them just so you can see what they look like. So Zinger looks like that and Eurostyle looks like that. So if you are trying to make it look closer to the magazine, you're going to want to have this line on the left side. If you don't really care, you could just be done. You can take this here center it and be done. I mean something you have to do is actually a few things you have to do is you have to weld this. See you'll see this part here. So you have to convert that to curves, highlight the whole thing. Um, whoops. Let's see, break the curve apart. And you're gonna see you're gonna lose some things there, but it's okay. We're gonna take this piece and this piece and combine those. What we're gonna do, whoops, I need to get my P back together so Take the center of that one and that one, combine that. Okay, and then we need to weld the whole thing. So you'll see what happens when I weld it. I got rid of the where it was uh, touching each other. So anyways, that's one way, and you can be done. If you're happy with that, you're done. The other way would be to take this font here. I'll make it smaller. And I'm going to kern it a little bit. And then what I want to do on this one is I want to take this little piece right here and I want to lean it this way so it kind of has that slant to it 
and then to get my line I'm gonna take a the rectangle tool and I'll make a little thin line here Let's see. I want it to go this way I'll make it black and I'm gonna go back to wireframe just so I can see what I'm doing here so I want it to touch on the base of that one there and it's up to you if you think that looks good then what you do is you're gonna take this part and hold shift and select that one and you're gonna weld those okay so I have this part now but in the I think in the magazine it's got gaps there so what you can do is you can take a little square like this and decide where you want to uh, break it like let's say I want to break it right here um, and I'll just make that a full color so you can see what I'm doing this is just gonna basically cut notches in it I'm gonna duplicate that I'll put this one right here. You'll kind of get it when I do it. You'll see what I'm trying to do. It's up to you on how how close you want this to be. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tear this, break it apart here, and I'll put this one closer. And then I'll do the same thing. Do another one close to the S. Hit you and you'll see that one. One for the P right there. And I think the H is fine. I mean, if you want to, you can get rid of that. Or you can just leave that little bit on there. So I'm going to highlight all these red pieces and combine them just so I have one piece. And then I'm going to do the uh, front minus back type thing or back minus front. And so all I did was want to make little gaps there. And you can, like I said, make it closer, make it smoother. But uh, that's kind of how the magazine has it. I think it, I think it's on the left side, there's some lines. And then when it goes to the center, when it gets to the center, then it starts the lines shift to the right side on the right half of it. So it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. And I'm just going to make that smaller. So you can use this one that's super easy. You just type in the font or, or you can make your own type style. And that's about it. That's how you do it. So... If you need any help, uh, make sure you come to the website, teach me that, or shoot me an email, or uh, get in contact with me. Thanks.